Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nkonya and I'm also known as Ndinai Ja. Ja, Ja, Ja. So you guys, I have been on a low spend, no spend um, so far for the first two weeks in the month of November. I started feeling the push to do a low spend, no spend sometime last month, um, which was sort of my first prompting to cancel my Simply Gilded subscription. Yes, yes. So um, that cancellation is complete. And as I was just thinking about the next year, 2021, looking over my goals and reestablishing and rethinking what I intend to accomplish, especially in light of everything that's gone on this year. You know, that's sort of a catchphrase of the year 2020, just everything going on. But no, I, well, I would have to say I was pushed into doing the no spend. But anyway, the prompting was very, very strong on me. I don't recall having done a no spend, low spend, um, in a while. And one of the first things to do when you're beginning a journey of financial independence um, is to assess. One of the very good ways to assess where you are and what your habits are is to do a no spend, low spend. So what areas did my low spend, no spend consist of or comprise? I was looking at everything, every every aspect of my spending, groceries and my household um, expenses, um, planner stuff. It was it was basically everything. So I have a report for you guys on that, and just wanted to talk through how I did it. Um, the first few days <laughs> was really really hard, really really hard. All of a sudden, it was as though everything that I said I wanted prior to now, and I have a list of, of my, it's not here right now, but I have a list of items that I want, and I've started just putting things down on the list. Eventually, I'll get to them. I look at the price, and when I want to buy something, and I know it's not immediately necessary, I look at that list. I look at my at my planner, my journal. I think about my goal, I think about this <laughs> beautiful car right here, and I rethink. So I did journal a little bit, like I said. I think I'm going to read a smidge of what I what I wrote down. Day one of no spend. Ooh, I saw some pretty things on Zulily again. <sighs> Don't we all? So anyway, I got distracted and I let I let that go. Day two of the no spend. Let me show you the sticker I used. <laughs> That's it right there. That's an Oso paper sticker showing that, you know, make it rain. Basically, I felt like I wanted to make it rain just all over the Internet. I pretty much forgot about my no spend. Ah, Jesus be a no spend. Anyway, but somehow I was able to stop myself from buying anything and... I just, I, it, it just, it just what it what, it was what it was. For the next few days, I was busy, and then the weekend came around. I think by the weekend, I talked to you guys in my Saturday morning live, 7 a.m., sometimes 6.30, depending on where you are, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time here on this channel every Saturday. Um, yeah, by the weekend, it was a little easier because all I needed to do were buy groceries and all of that. But somehow it hit me that weekend that I should perhaps try to stretch out the groceries I had. I was like, hmm, how's this going to work? I did it, y'all. I did not go grocery shopping. I said I was going to use what we had at home and just that's it. And then I started making a list. I made a list of all the things we needed and kept adding to the list. And this was Monday, 
last Monday, I started adding to the grocery list and I just decided to stay on it, use whatever we had at home. And because, the, I mean, the no spend was going to end in a week anyway, why, why not just wait? So I did that. And by this time, which is seven days after I began, I started feeling like I was getting used to the no spend. It was weird. And then I went and somehow, as I thought about it, I promptly went and got me some Domino's brownies. Yes. Day 11, I woke up and I was like, I'm almost there. I am almost there. I was so excited. And I was like, this, this, this thing is kind of working out. Even though I was getting, even though I saw some things online, people posting hauls, people coming out with new planner releases or new accessories and new stickers. I just kept looking at it. And I was like, mm, well, I'm on a no spend, low spend. I can look at them next week. I can look at them next week. So I delayed gratification for myself with that. And then, you know, it was time to go buy groceries this weekend. I went to buy groceries. And even while I was buying groceries, there were a couple of things that I was thinking of and the kid was saying, oh, mama, let's buy this and let's buy that. But I had to remind myself and it was easier somehow to remind myself that I was on a no spend, low spend, because I said to myself, even though I'm buying things that we do need, I need to be careful that it's stuff that we actually really need and not just things that we want or not just to replenish um, my supply because that's what I like to do. So that was basically it. Um, and if I can give you sort of a report card, and I'll put the video of my calculations up here, um, a report card of the things that I purchased during this no spend, low spend. So I did buy some planner stuff. Um, a nice lady was de-stashing, um, some stuff on Facebook and so kindly she said, Hey, you want, you know, give me $10. That's for shipping. And I will buy you. I mean, I will, you know, share all the stuff out that I'm de-stashing and give some away. And she did that. You know, I think I'll put a picture of, um, the box of, I actually, no, I won't put up a picture, but we'll, we will open, I'll show you the box uh, sometime this week and the items that were in the box because she was very, very generous and she actually put me in a little more of a generous spirit. So I need to get on that. Um, so I did spend $10 on planner stuff. For groceries and household, you'll see the calculation up on the screen. My groceries and household budget for the month is about $700. I've so far spent $291.55, and this is from three trips to the grocery store, one on the 3rd, and then 14th and 15th, because I was running out of items. Um, the next category that I did spend, and I would say I spent a lot, um, was my eating out. And part of the reason it was a lot is because I replenished my Chick-fil-A card. So I spent $50 on that, and then we went to Domino's and Burger King, spent a total of $77.78. So not bad. The, the budget for that for the month is $150. And then for my health and hygiene, I got a refund from Burlington, woohoo, $17.29. And, oh, I didn't add this correctly. Oh dear, I did not add this correctly. So I had $17, why is it doing that? I had $17.29 minus, because it was a refund, adding $34.59. So I spent a net amount of $17.30. What you're going to see on the screen is $51.88, but... Yeah, that's incorrect. So I have to change it. And then gas. I spent a total of $60. I mean, I was I was running so low on gas. And the days I, I purchased gas was the 6th, the 13th, and the 15th. On the 6th, I, I filled my tank, spent $26. On the 13th, I spent $7. And that was because 
we were trying, <laughs> I, mm, it was this close, but I had eight miles left before I put that $7 in the, in the tank. And because it was at Shell, I didn't want to spend too much money. Um, I wanted to go back to Sam's Club, which is where I usually buy my gas from. So there you have it, folks. We have a combo mid-month budget update and my feelings and thoughts on a no spend, low spend. Do I, um, will I suggest that you do it if you have been spending a lot and you want to sort of purge yourself of the habit of spending because spending is a habit and you need to move over to the savings habit, right? Do I recommend it? Yes, I do because I, I've, I've really, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed delaying the gratification and thinking, well, I have something to look forward to. And in the process of telling myself I can look forward to doing that later, it's helped me to look more at what I already have and say, this is good. This is good. I can use this. I can use this. I can find a more innovative way of using this and that. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button like the video, hit the notification bell so you can be informed whenever I post a new video. All right, folks, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great one. Bye.